The Burning Dead is the latest set by Mammoth Factory Games, and this includes a whole lot of undead, but not just standard undead, burning undead, as the name would suggest. So, let's talk about what you get as part of this set and get on with the video. And I just wanted to say a big thanks to Mammoth Factory Games who is sponsoring today's video. So with this set you get all of your miniatures included, you get your D&D 5e adventure included as well. But perhaps the biggest difference with this set is that you also get all the stat blocks to use with one page rules, so we'll come on to that a bit later. First up you get this Voidborn Corpse Eater on a 100mm base and this thing is disgusting. It's this big like insectoid creature all these limbs coming off of it, holding this skeleton in one hand or arm or little tiny leg or whatever we're going to call it. And it's also got this kind of corpse like wrapped around in its tongue trying to escape as it's been swallowed whole. That's an absolutely awful fate and I really like this model. It comes all hollowed as well so you don't need to worry about using too much resin and it all fits together really nice. It's all split up so that way it'll fit onto pretty much any kind of printer. Next up, you'll get the Deathbound Hulker, which comes on a 75mm base, and this is like this big undead giant with this big kind of wicked ball, this flaming ball thing in its hand. Again, a really nice sculpt. It's got all these little arrows coming off of it, all these nice little fine details. And all in all, I just really like this one. It stands out against all the others in this set. You get the Solarian as well, who is this guy who's just he's really kind of strutting his stuff. This is a really interesting little sculpt, and I think a lot of people will probably have quite a lot of fun painting this one up. He's got all these like tattoos and markings all over his body, but they're just ever so slightly raised. So if you go in with a traditional brush, you'll be able to capture all those details. But with this one, dry brushing is your friend. Next up, you'll get the Anak Nobles. They come on a 50 millimeter base, and there's three of these. Now these almost look like these undead vampires, but also ring wraiths all in the same breath. They're really nice. They've got some fantastic looking armor. So like with the Solarian, you've got all these raised bits all over the armor. Again, you can really capture that with a dry brush and it's got all these flames coming off of them. They're really, really nice. One thing that really stood out to me when I printed these off for the first time is that sort of like cloak they've got coming off the back of them. It's really nicely, finely detailed. You can capture a lot of detail on that. Next up, you'll get these two Mordens, and they're these almost like go-betweens between the Anak Nobles and then all the other types of units on there. They've got some nice looking weapons, these cool little masks, and again, all these cloaks and bits of fire coming off of them. So moving on to the basic units. So first up, you'll get eight variants of the Deathbound Thralls. The great thing about these is that you can either have them flaming or not flaming. So, you know, world's your oyster with this. And again, if you're using it for D&D adventures, you could have them in like a non-flaming variant and then switch them out to the flaming variants. You can really mix up your games, just kind of give it a little bit more immersion and all of that stuff. And then if you're not using it for D&D, &D, but you're using it for something like a regiment game and using it with one page rules, you've then got more variants of all those things. So although you've only got the eight different poses, you've got them either on fire or not on fire. So you can really mix up your regiments. And then last, but by no means least, you get these eight variants of flame wraiths. I really like these. Again, they all look like their cloaks are made of this flowing fire. They've got these fiery weapons as well. All in all, a really good set. And with that, you get those eight variants. And one thing to note about those basic units is you get the banners, you get the musicians. So that way, again, if you're using them for that traditional regiment type game, you've got all of those extra units to play with. Moving across onto the props, you also get a moon key and a sun key as well. Now this is great, again, if you're doing that sort of Dungeons and & Dragons and you're playing along with the 5e adventure, you've got something that you can play around with with players, it adds a little bit more immersion, really nice little detailed props, and just some people really love to have that thing. Some people won't be too bothered, but for those of you who do like this, then you're pretty much going to love that. And then, of course, you get the busts as well. There's two busts that you get with this one. So you get the Deathbound Thrall bust and you get the Anak Noble bust as well. A couple of things to note about these prints is you can either use them in supported or non-supported as well. So if you prefer to go off and do your own supports, then you can do. And it's also worth mentioning that you get all of the bases included with these as well. So that way they've got their own little custom bases that the feet kind of like sit nicely into. And great thing is they've all got two feet on the ground, which means you don't have to worry about really fiddly parts going onto those bases. So all in all, I've had a lot of fun with these models. I painted them all up with this flame scheme. Not entirely sure if it works, but I think at first glance, they do look like they're on fire. And I really like the way they all look when they're all combined together like that in this big flaming massive undead. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you checked out their Patreon page this month? Have you picked up these models? Have you printed any? Be interested to know what sort of paint scheme you guys are going for if you're going to play the 5e adventure. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.